All right, folks, we are finally here. We've actually made it. So right now we have just checked in. The place is pretty nice. We found this place on Airbnb. This is a bed which is nice and huge, along with the TV which is blessed, it's sofa, nice decent table and the fridge because we are going to also cook some of the food ourselves like breakfast. So a freezer and a fridge. Yeah, it's nice and the view is pretty good. <laughs> what do you think of it overall? I like it. What is good people? What we're going to do is show you guys some of the stuff we're eating in a day. It's been a few days. We've ate a lot of, lot of food. So for the first meal, we're quickly having something light. So we're just having cereal. This is Special K. We're going to have that with some almond milk. The reason why we're having a light meal is for two reasons. One, we've been eating a lot of heavy food lately. And I just feel so sluggish and bloated. And two, we're about to actually go to the gym. Uh, we're not going to the hotel gym that I may have shown you already because it's okay, but I prefer like a proper gym. So I'm going to go somewhere and buy wheat pass, which costs around 800 pesos. And yeah, and also I'm going to take my little pre workout before I go. Off to the gym we go. So I think that's the gym, guys, that we're going to evolve. Wait, hot stuff. By the way, in case any of you are wondering, it's a little easy walk. It's like a six minute walk. So it's not like I'm going out my way to like find a gym. It's down the street, so yeah. Anyways, I'm quickly gonna train. Oh shit, look at this. The gym was mad busy, like literally, the only thing that was empty was like the ab section, which is why I only showing you that. But anyway, I'm gonna go get a drink, find Kareen, go for lunch. How do you feel ordering in Spanish? <laughs> a bit nerve-wracking, but I think I got it down right. This is the best thing, because when I'm on Fifth Avenue, you have to speak Spanish, because they, they don't understand any English. So if you don't speak it, you won't eat it. If we order some more, you definitely will come back another day. This tastes good. I'm a tip on Yeah, definitely. Pollo chipotle. Para quien es? Para ti. Gracias. Y carne dulce. How was it? Muy bien. The chipotle empanadas was delicious. I ended up buying more food because it tasted so good. And it's way cheaper. Like each empanada is 30, 35. Bear in mind, the very first day, which we didn't film, we got hostile because it was raining, right? So some restaurant on the Fifth Avenue strip pulled us in and they made us pay 900 pesos for this meal for us both, which was an okay meal, but everywhere else we've been to has been way better and it's been like yeah. at a third of the price. So obviously that's why you should never go to the main strip. One, it's full of Americans anyway, it's Mexico, it's near spring break. And two, thief. I much prefer this way though, I will say, is even better because you have to speak Spanish. Yeah. Because if you can't speak it, you can't eat, as I said earlier, because they don't understand it when you speak English. And you can't expect them to, because that's just cheeky, isn't it? Like, we've seen bare Americans say, so don't you speak English when you're in their country. You can take the girl away from Starbucks, but you can't take Starbucks away from the girl. <laughs> you think you are? You practice that line. <laughs> the, the mask may is like you got a beard. <laughs> little stop off before I go get a milkshake because yeah, she had a milkshake yesterday, it tasted really good, so I'm gonna get the same thing. I'm also this gets you blessed. That's because like crack, you got Mexican coffee beans in it, you're not used to that. You know what I mean? This gets you. This is like wait, picture it as picture this as cocaine. This is that pure raw. You're used to that cocaine. cut down English crack. This cocaine. Is, exactly, this is that pure blanco cocaine. Let me know what this tastes like. This is mango with chili, peppers, and, and salsa on top. Oh, is it salsa? It wasn't syrup, it said salsa on the thing. Right, let me know what this tastes like, because you're braver than me. <laughs> <laughs> What's it taste like? 2,000 years later. What does it taste like? And does it taste good? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs>
Is it salsa on top? Let's just get to the basics. Salsa on top, but with the mango, you can't taste it. And the the season that they put on it. When you have it with the mango, it just tastes like crunchy bits. So you paid <laughs> you 150 pesos for just a mango. mango. Basically. <laughs> Let's see what this tastes like. This is a lot, you know. A lot. Whoever guesses my right amount of calories wins nothing. Wait, one. Tastes great, man. Mm. I wonder if it tastes as good as your mango. Tasty. <laughs> the key thing about these holidays, first thing for me anyway, is not purposely trying to pick out. Eat the food you enjoy without going over the top. <laughs> Save food, like we're in the fridge right now, we have a massive uh, half of a beef burger each that we got from this place that the portion size was so, so big. So, you know what I mean? Because we got a fridge, we can just put it in there. This is that shit. Ugh. Okay, this looks pause where we buy. Dingling. Alright folks, until we have the next meal, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my ruffles. Oh, it feels cold. <laughs> I haven't dived in a pool since I'm like dead. <laughs> <laughs> Partly scared, I don't know why I used to sit good. I'm a 400 meter patch. Just do it. A dive? <laughs> you literally... <Just> fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, it's not that deep, so any lower, I think that's how that guy hit you too. Oh. <sighs> this is the last video, so what I'm going to do now is just chill here for a bit. Then probably go find some more food. I'm enjoying this uh, little bit of a break. Obviously, it came at half decent time, and overall, I think it's decent in general. Like I've missed traveling. We haven't been on holiday in like two, two and a half years because all this Kobe stuff. All right, folks, we are on to outfit change number. I think it's three for me, maybe two for you. Probably. Yeah. So basically, I went gym as well. So anyway, what we're doing right now is actually going to this Jamaican place that we saw on the way to the empanada place. That smelled very, very good. I know you're thinking we're in Mexico, why you go to a Jamaican spot, but it smelled good. Yeah. Like, it smelled real good. It actually smelled even Jamaican jerkin'y. So, yeah, we're gonna go there. Swine is also divine. Oh, got pepper. Can't take the pepper. No, put my surprise at you. English, everyone call her English. All right, folks, let's try some. Let's try the fried chicken first because that was the thing we weren't even going to buy. You know, it mainly came for the jerk, but it looks crunchy. My garlic bread is nice and soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
got a nice bit of spice to it as well. So he's not playing. But it's quite a bad surprise because I wasn't expecting it. Before the camera cuts out, let me just try to jerk. It's alright. I may have actually used a jerk fam. It's like a smoky taste. Overall people, the base is good. They said they're new, they've only opened recently. If you pass by, I'll try it. Yeah. Especially the ribs. I'll say the ribs. This is the best taste of one so far. Anyways, I can see the camera's about to cut out people. So I'll see you guys for the next meal after I've charged. Alright folks, we got some margaritas for the walk back. Alright folks, we are now back. Right now, I'm gonna meet Karina on the roof so we can chill, drink the rest of our margaritas, get a little bit tipsy. But I've also got to do a little bit of work because I've got new clients that signed up for online coaching and I've got some training plans to make. So, I need to make sure I'm still on top of them. So yeah, I'm about to do that now. Hopefully, a couple hours and I'll have it sorted, have that all done, and then I can just carry on relaxing the rest of the night. Then, I'll come back to you guys and show you guys probably one of the last things we're gonna eat. Actually, you know, let me switch hats. This is my good hat. Oh, I don't want to sweat it up by the pool. There you go. You looking cozy. I am. I will say, that's one of my favorite things I like about this hotel. It's damn near empty most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> this Airbnb is the thing. All right, time to relax. Yo, the pool looks dope at night. Alright folks, we are going to go find some more tacos. Actually, we haven't even had tacos. Tacos today, have we? No. Um, free liquor. Um, yeah, we're going to go find tacos from somewhere. <laughs> right, it's probably going to be like half eight now. So yeah, probably about nine. Alright folks, right now we are half liquored up, but we are on the way to find... Tacos. Tacos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one place we went a few days ago. And we're going there again, so yeah, we're going to show you that now. He missed you, he missed you singing the White Chick song. <laughs> What's it called? 10,000 miles. I don't know. It's called 10,000, because I'd is, run 10,000 miles. All I know is making the way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> <laughs> We're not walking fast now. Anyway, this taco place is around like 12-ish minutes walk from where we are. So you have to walk deeper in to play the car, remember? It's not 12-ish minutes. It says, it says 10 or 11 on... It's 12 minutes. Oh, oh it's supposed to be closer. <laughs> Either way, it's not on the main strip, so we're walking towards it, so it's more deep, you look around. You know what I mean, you're not seeing the mad amounts of clubs and bare music like you do on the 5th. But to be honest, it was a cool little spot, tasted good, smelled good, and it was much, much cheaper. Oh, that smells decent. Pretty pay 120 last time, didn't we? Very nice. No, I'm saying we didn't have that. That's not, that was something different. Um. Nah, but it says order, six, order of six chicken tacos. We didn't have chicken tacos, we had pork. We had that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, it got you. <laughs> what we're having is tacos from this place, it's delicious. We had pork one the other day, which was decent. Green changed her choice like five times in the last ten seconds. <laughs> she wanted beef and chicken, beef and chicken, now she's stuck with chicken. So yeah, man, it's decent. I will say it takes a little bit of time for them to do it, but it means they fully cooked it, so that's what I'm happy about. So yeah, but I can't wait to eat this, go out to the yard, finish off my liquor, <laughs> and just chill in it. Stay tuned for the tacos we'll then. Stay in a past nine. And smack in your behind. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what that's from, even though I remixed it, comment down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys uh, when we get the tacos or back at yard, I don't know. This ah, is, can oh. I go get my churros now then, or no? Or shall I wait? Nah, nah, I'll go get it. This is my view for pork with pineapple. It's the thing. Trust me guys, this is delicious. These little pineapple chunks, I'm stealing that recipe. It's so good, we got pork mixed in with just, well, obviously the pineapples give it the sweetness. It bangs. Mm. The lime and the pineapple. Who would have thought the fruit would make it, like, set it off? Anyways people, thanks for watching today's unorthodox somewhat full day of eating. Probably make a few of them in Mexico just because so much to do every day, like show my everyday happenings and how I eat abroad. Because obviously as you can see, 
When I hear carrying ca cal when I hear carrying calories, if I'm slurring by the way, it's the liquor. Anyways, as you can see, like it's alright to have balance. When I'm back home, I virtually never drink, and I probably wouldn't eat as much food as this every single day. However, when I'm here, enjoy the vibes. Don't go over the top, but don't go under. Find that balance. Some days you may go over, some days you may not. Everything in it. Anyways, deuces, people. Stay getting gains. Mm. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.